Welcome back to Alcamilla. We've just gotten access to the lower part of the mall. So, let's go check it out. Okay, so we're finally back to... <laughs> I was gonna say we're finally back to the real world, but this isn't really the real world, is it? I don't think so. At least I really, really hope it isn't. We're back to the less horrifying world. Ooh, this music. I like it. You know, it actually reminds me of Pathologic, the game. The game from Icepick Lodge. It's time to get out of here. Okay, so apparently somehow I completely skipped the puzzle where I had to do math. Remember that? The whole 2 plus 2 equals x1 and 2 minus 2 equals x2 and then I got the other part of the note that said y2, y4, y1, y3. I never got the third part of that and I apparently didn't need it. Was it intended to be optional or did I just like break the game's logic somehow? I never repaired the music box. I apparently solved the music puzzle where you're supposed to press the different keys just by... I, I want to say brute force, but it wasn't even brute force because I wasn't trying to solve it. I was just mashing keys just to just to hear funny noises come out of the thing. And somehow I solved it. So I think in doing that and in getting that key, I think I completely got rid of the need to solve that math thing. Or, or something. I don't know. Okay, where the hell are we now? Um, what do I have now that I didn't have before? Because I've already been here. Because I remember walking past this. The public parking lot. I don't think that was open before.
I forgot something. Something important. I hope he's talking about himself and not me. Did I miss something? Oh shit. I think that's one of the... Isn't that one of the default, like, bodies from Half-Life? Because I remember seeing that before. I think it might be. I guess I'm supposed to be creeped out by it, but I just can't help but remembering that I've seen this in a ton of different source mods. This is my house again. I finally made it back. Because I remember I originally stepped out here, I was about to leave, and then everything started happening. Oh my god. Those are some vast ladders. Or steps, rather. I cannot go up there. Everything is just how I left it. Is what I just saw true? Is that what's actually down here? No. And there were 
Bodies in the yard? I supposed to like try to go to sleep or something I'm not sure what to do from here I could try to leave back the way I came in here from but why Nope, can't leave. Is there like a shovel I can find somewhere to try to dig up the bodies? Oh, here we go. Yep. But they... They died... in the accident. There's that... There's the paranoia caused by the drug. Everybody's monsters. Nothing's your fault. This music is freaking awesome, I love it. Jesus Christ. I don't think I want to go out there. Hmm. I think I have to go out there. I think he saw his own family as monsters and killed them.
Oh. Oh, it's spreading. Okay. Oh crap. Oh, this is the wrong way! Shit. That's a dead end. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh, it's a trial and error puzzle. Why would you do that? It was so cool in the beginning, but now it's just trial and error. No. Ah, oh, that's the frustrating things about that's a frustrating thing about like maze puzzles like this. The first time. It was terrifying. Holy shit, the flames coming for me. It was awesome. But then I died and now it sucks. Oh well. Okay, don't go straight. Ah, there we go. Once again, we arrive here. I see something. There's something here. There it is. In addition to the ritual, I decided that White Claudia might be suited to recreational use. Using my contacts in the cult as an advantage, I began to successfully sell PTV, using an antique shop as a cover. My position as hospital director gives me great access to the necessary equipment for the production of the drugs, and I'm able to safely store them in a secret part of the hospital. The harm that drugs do makes me sick, but no one is forcing these stupid tourists to buy it. That idiot nurse Lisa will do whatever I tell her from her dose, uh, for her dose. Okay, but is this actually real, or is this just... 
the paranoia that the drug causes that's making me see this. Another funny story about a Norman Wexler. For months, I pumped him full of the drug. I had to see how much the body could take before death. It would certainly appear suspicious if residents and tourists started dying without explanation. But as it turned out, in this respect, the drug is safe. The same cannot be said for mental instability. Wexler became very aggressive. So much so that I decided to stop the experiments. But after a while, I accidentally found out that he had lost his family and the police are looking for him. I'll bet anything that Wexler's newfound insanity is connected to the drug. Later, after a car accident, he ended up again in Alcamilla. And it looks like he's got some partial memory loss. I don't envy this idiot, but I've given him fair compensation for the experiment and warned him of all the risks involved. Fair compensation? I don't think anything could be fair compensation for this. I know. I was just scared. Afraid to face the truth. I tried to erase it from my memories, but it kept coming back and back and back again. It's all my fault. It has nothing to do with Dr. Kaufman. I was taking the drugs because... Because I wanted it for myself. And I killed my family over it. I killed them. All this time I've been searching for Kaufman. But I've just been looking for the truth. And when I found it, I... I just... My truth. My personal hell. I'm going to read this one in silence, since I can't read it reliably. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought he'd come to accept what had happened. And things might get a little bit better, but it looks like they got worse. like the others, it's frightening. I guess I need to reassemble it. another key.
Is that someone knocking? This is where the exit was. Oh god, this place is confusing. Okay, I just came from this way. So I've already been in here. Yes. Oh my god, this is really weird. These doors take me to the same hallway, right? Yeah, what the hell? Oh, this is weird. It's kind of like a maze. I hope I didn't just, like, miss the hand in there. And I can't pick up... I can't seem to pick up these. The ones that are sticking out. No. Not even that one? Not even that one. Yeah, so that takes me to the same hallway. Takes me to one end of that room. This takes me into the room that has the mannequin. This takes me to the opposite end of here. This, this is all messed up. I don't think there's anywhere else I can go. I think I just need that arm. Ah, no, don't crush me. Oh, crap. I'm actually stuck. I can't make it close. I mean, open again. Oh, crap. I'm actually stuck. Damn it. Don't do that. I mean, I can't really see the upper ones. Is there an arm somewhere in here? Uh, it's twitching. They're all kind of slightly twitching. I think they actually have physics. Can I, like move them out? I can't seem to. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I'm supposed to do something here, but I can't seem to do anything. I found one of the arms in here. Maybe the other is here, but just kind of hiding.
Okay, I have no idea. I need a right hand and I need a key for the box, and I don't know where either is. Hmm. Oh, wait. Hello. Oh, I missed you before. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm not sure which side that is. That's supposed to be open, but I can try both. Okay. Yeah, not sure which side it was. Let me go save first. Just in case I get stuck again or something. That didn't do it. Oh, you know what? I should have looked to see whether there are any bodies inside. In the picture. Yeah, there's bodies in all three of them. What does that say in the bottom left? The... Does that say the opposite? I think it says the opposite or something like that. See, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be mirrored on both sides or just done on one side or what. There we go. Something unlocked. It's a key. Something clicked. I mean, I would have assumed it was in the room where I solved the puzzle, but I didn't see anything in there. I mean, nothing in here was locked, so... I have no idea. When I find out, I'll be right back. Oh, wait a minute, am I in a completely different place? Oh! I think I m messed it up or something by moving them back. It, it seems that you need to actually leave the puzzle in the solved position or it unsolves itself. So it's not just like it sets a flag when you solve it, but it, it actually has to be in that state when you go to leave, I guess. Yeah, this is where I just came from. Now it needs a password. Oh god, where the hell am I now? where it just came from.
A little key? Oh, that's probably for the box. from the hook? Deja vu. Yeah. God. I really don't want to stick my hand in that hole to get a hand. You see, I quite vividly remember the last time in a, in a horror game I stuck my hand in a hole. And that was with the cat lady. That was not a pleasant experience. They took my child. Said he was born dead. But why? They didn't even look at him. I know they took him. I know they stole him from me. If you help me get him back, I'll give you the password. There's an artificial hand sticking out of the hole. Yes, can you take it please? Or maybe that's where I put the baby? Maybe that's where I put the baby. Let's go get the baby then. Okay, there, there you go. Did it do anything? Oh. Ah, it's how many sides each shape has is the password, right? Okay, so the first one's a triangle. Let me get my notes out. So, obviously that's three. The other one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then four... And then, well, I guess infinite? I mean, a circle has infinite sides. I guess just zero then? Well, it could be zero or it could be eight, which kind of looks like the symbol for infinity. It could be either, I suppose. All right, so it's three, six, four, zero or three, six, four, eight.
let's go open up the box. Oh wait, I can't do that here, can I? No, I need to go back first. Okay, uh, 3640. Okay, sweet. Now we've managed to come back, so now I can go unlock that box and find out what the heck is in it. in silence as well. Okay, this is directions for something. For which one I'm supposed to... Uh, this is talking about the morgue, isn't it? I hope I'm reading this correctly. I think it says the bodies at the bottom aren't... Aren't there? Close? Move to the left? Open? Move on... What the hell does it say? Open. Below and... Something? Below and move to the right? Open. The bodies above aren't there? Open. I'm not entirely certain what that means. Let me think about this and write this down and I'll be right back. Okay, I hope I interpreted that correctly because I can't read it very well at all. But I believe it said bodies, like, bodies at the bottom aren't their clothes. And this is the only side that actually has bodies that are missing. So for this side, as you can see, all of the body, uh, all of the slabs or whatever you want to call these things all of them are filled but for this one those two are empty now I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to start in a closed or an open state because I think the first thing I said was bodies at the bottom aren't there close so I guess I have to start in an open state for this one so like Let's try this. Let me see if I interpreted this correctly. Bodies at the bottom are their clothes. Nope. Okay, closed. Move to the left, open. And then I think it said move, move northeast? I, I think it said that. And then open. And then below and to the right, open. And then the bodies above aren't there open, which would be this one. Okay. That was actually it. Thank God. But what happened? So last time I heard that click, what that meant was that when I went outside, everything was different. Maybe that happened again. Is this different? This looks the same. So, what was the click? Maybe I have to leave this way? This does look different. I don't even know where the hell I am anymore. Where am I?
Wait, what? And this wasn't open before, was it? I'm so confused. Oh, the, yeah, this is the other side of this place. Okay. Uh, I don't think I want to walk into that. Do I? Oh, there's a... I need to reach my hand through the fan blades and get the key? Oh my god. I'm gonna lose my freaking hand. Or do I need to stop it? Looks like a key. Can I now grab it? Yeah, I'm trying. I think I need something to stop it. Okay, so I guess my character is not quite that crazy. I don't know, I was thinking it could be like poetic, like he reaches through and tries to grab the key and it cuts off his arm and then he uses that to attach to the mannequin. It'd be kind of cool. I need, like, a bar to shove into it or something. Hmm. So, what did I actually unlock by doing this? Like, I don't really know. Did I open that door? Like... Okay, so that should turn it off. Whatever I did, that should undo it. Let me see. Like, is it gonna be different? Okay, so that's covered. And, okay, yeah, so that's what it does. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I didn't miss, like, a, a key or something that I was trying to give me. Oh, this is new. There's the other arm. The noise in here. The rumble. Okay, where was the mannequin? Now I need to get back there. Uh... God, this is so confusing. Okay, I think I need to undo this, or maybe I just go through these doors. Let, let me see, let me go through these doors. Yeah, here we go. Looks like nothing has changed. Hmm. Why do I feel like something's gonna happen when I look away? The mannequin is complete.
what did that do? Well, I'm not quite sure what that did, but it did something. And I think I should end this episode here before it becomes over an hour long. In fact, it already might be over an hour long. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.